And the, <clears throat> the final study that we're going to be funding uh, in this round is from Dr. Deepan Singh, who many of you know, he's a child psychiatrist in New York. And um, he had the idea of potentially using uh, bright light therapy on individuals with PWS to improve daytime sleepiness and behaviors. Um, and as I mentioned, we are seeing, and I, you know, many, many of you would have and have predicted uh, that individuals ha who have the most disrupted sleep in PWS tend to be those who have the most behavioral problems and potentially psychiatric problems as well. So trying to restore good circadian rhythm, a good sleep at night, awakeness during the day is really important. We have Harmony Biosciences, of course, is looking at patolescent, which may be helpful in that regard, but it would also be beneficial to have a non-drug approach that could either replace or complement uh, any drug-based approach. So um, this study will look at bright light therapy, which has been shown to improve behavior and uh, sleepiness and some other conditions like dementia or um, bipolar disease, and evaluate whether it is helpful in children with PWS. So it's going to look at, it's going to be bright light therapy and then look at daytime sleepiness, look at behavior, look at some other outcomes. So this will be, uh, this is potentially a safe and effective way of improving sleep behavior and mood in PWS, all of which would be a very good thing. It's gonna be an entirely remote study. So, uh, so anyone I believe in the US can uh, participate. Um, so you'll get a bright light uh, and then you'll do bright light therapy. The person with PWS will sit with the bright light like at breakfast, for example, for I believe it's 30 minutes a day. Um, and then there'll be a, some assessments of whether that improves daytime sleepiness and behaviors. So the long-term goal of this study is to determine if bright light therapy improves daytime sleepiness and behavior in PWS. Um, and this is a study that will be opening uh, in the next couple of months. So Dr. Uh, Singh will have to get IRB approval, but um, you know we're excited to fund this study.